Good morning. Welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I am Rob Stats Guerrera. Today is Monday, March 18th, 2024. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. I'm going to say a sentence I never thought I would say out loud, but here it is. The 49ers are apparently interested in Jets quarterback Zach Wilson. That is the rumor on the streets, as they say. I don't know why. Wilson has been a disaster since being drafted second overall by the Jets in 2021. He has started 33 games for them. He has a combined 41 interceptions and fumbles during that time. He has a career quarterback rating of 73.2, and his completion percentage is under 60% for his career. There should be nothing attractive about Zach Wilson, but we know that Kyle Shanahan liked him in 2021. In fact, he liked him so much, he reportedly would have taken him over Trey Lance. The Niners actually did try to trade up to that number two pick back then. The Jets didn't refuse the deal. Wilson was, of course, off the board by the 49ers picked. They eventually picked Trey Lance. We know how that went. But Kyle Liked Wilson coming out, and apparently, maybe, he still likes it. Now, the only good news is that he wouldn't cost a lot if a deal went down. Reportedly, the Jets would take a sixth or seventh round draft pick for Wilson, and they've paid most of his contract already. So he wouldn't count for very much against the 49ers salary cap. So I guess that's good news. But man, clearly Kyle Shanahan has a type. He likes those quarterbacks with maybe some tools that were drafted high, and possibly thinks he could rehabilitate them in his system. Ugh, I don't know. Hasn't happened, but we'll see. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Monday. The 49ers still need 28 players to fill out their 90-man roster. Matt Barrows in The Athletic has a plan to get them there. If you want to see what it is, just click the link in the description of this episode. One thing to watch, what is next for the 49ers? They may possibly have found an answer at nickel corner signing Isaac Yadam on Friday, who had 14 pass breakups for the Saints last year and had an 81.1 PFF grade, 80.4 coverage grade for the 49ers. Now, he might not be the answer, but I think the Niners look at it like, hey, we're good enough at that spot where we don't have to reach in the draft. And that has been all the 49ers moves this free agency have been about freeing up stuff and and freeing up possibilities for the draft, particularly in the first round. Keep in mind, they signed Devondre Campbell at linebacker. They signed Chase Lucas, a special team defensive back. They signed Ezekiel Turner, a special teams linebacker. They brought John Feliciano back on the one-year deal, and they freed up cap space by restructuring George Kittle and Fred Warner. So the Niners have given themselves flexibility, so it'll be very interesting to see what they do next. One thing you might have missed, speaking of those 2021 quarterbacks, it has been a bloodbath. Trevor Lawrence is with the Jags, but he has not exactly impressed, particularly at the end of last season. Zach Wilson is going to get traded for, like we just said, probably a sixth or seventh round pick. Justin Fields was traded to the Steelers to back up Russell Wilson in Pittsburgh. Mac Jones was traded by the Patriots for a sixth round pick. And of course, we know what happened with Trey Lance, who has gotten the biggest return out of any of the quarterbacks with a fourth round pick, despite just four starts in his career. Not exactly what we thought when all those guys were picked back in 2021, but that's generally how it goes. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and five. Please rate, review, and follow the Gold Standard Podcast Network. Like and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. If you click the little bell, you'll get notified every single time we go live. We will be live this afternoon. I will be live this afternoon. And also, Vish and I are going to do a night show this week. So 5 p.m. Pacific time, two live shows today for Gold Standard. That's why you got to click the bell because you don't want to miss any one of them. And with this team, anything can happen at any time. Enjoy your Monday, everybody. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.